Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Roblox error code 403 that is usually accompanied by the error message that an error was encountered during authentication. Please try again. So what basically when your computer is unable to connect to the Roblox servers, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I would suggest doing would be to actually make sure that the Roblox servers are up and functioning properly. So I'm going to have a link in the description of the video here to a status check that you can go ahead and check for yourself. And again, this is actually hosted by Roblox themselves. And you can see if there's any current incidents with the servers, in which case it would show up here. So just something to keep in mind, you can see that back in July, July 1st, there was a degraded performance. So if you're noticing issues along something along these lines here, then that's certainly a potential reason why you're coming across an error message and you might just have to wait it out a little bit. So just something to keep in mind. But if you're noticing there's no reported issues, if you wait a few minutes and check that site and there's still no issues, nobody's talking about it on Twitter or any other search engines. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. So we're going to reset our network settings back to default. So we're going to open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, sure come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And then into this elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard, check them back with Windows IP configuration, successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WINSOCK, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, again, exactly how you see it on my screen, and hit enter. Check them back with successfully reset the WINSOCK catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. However, if you're still having a problem, we can attempt to reset our network settings back to default. So you will need to have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby because once we reset our computer after the next step, you will need to enter those back into your settings in order to get back online. So just something I want to point out. And let's go ahead and jump into that. And we're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in network reset. Best result, turn them back with network reset. Go ahead and open that up. This will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the reset now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select yes. And then go ahead and close out of here. And I would suggest restarting your computer after you've saved and closed out of any open programs or applications. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.